Hello friends, in this video I will explain the identification problem and why this problem arises in simultaneous equations model. In my previous video I have explained how we can derive a reduced form equation from structural equations, right? So that by applying OLS method we can obtain the reduced form coefficients and then from those coefficients we can retrieve the structural coefficients. Now by the identification problem we show whether the structural coefficients can be obtained from the reduced form coefficients. If they are obtainable, we say that the particular equation is identified. If not, we say it is unidentified. Now, what is identified and unidentified equations? In identified equations, we have two cases. The first is exactly identified and the second is over identified. An exactly identified equation is that if we are able to get a unique numerical value of the structural parameters from the reduced form parameters. And if we are getting more than one numerical value, then it is termed as over identified. And if no numerical value is obtainable, then it is unidentified. Now, why identification problem? Why this problem arises and why we need to deal with it? So it arises because different sets of structural coefficients may be compatible with the same set of data. In other words, we can say that a given reduced form equation may be compatible with different structural equations and it may be difficult to tell which particular model we are investigating. Now let's take an example of unidentified equation. This is a demand and supply equilibrium where on the left hand side we have demand equation and on the right hand side we have the supply equation. Now we have only the time series data on P and Q and no other information like income of the consumer and weather conditions etc. Then there is no way to identify whether we are estimating the demand function or the supply function. It means that if we do not have any additional information, then it becomes impossible to identify that which function we are going to estimate. So in the three graphs shown in the picture, you can see that in figure A, the scatter diagram is shown where there are four combinations of price and quantity. So we do not know which of the following points is being satisfied by the given uh, demand and supply equilibrium. Then in figure B also the same scatter points shown. They are showing the different intersection points of demand and supply curves and we do not know which one satisfies the above equation. And if we take one single point as shown in figure C, then also we can see that from a single point there are n number of supply and demand curves that are intersecting so it becomes difficult to identify that which demand and supply function we are going to estimate and even if we think that we are fitting a demand function then also how do we guarantee that it is in fact the demand function that we are estimating and not something else so in short we need some additional information about the nature of the demand and supply functions in order to get specified and to make the equations identifiable. Now here comes the rules for identification. There are two basic conditions which must be satisfied by the equations in order to make them identifiable. The first is order condition and the second is rank condition. In this video I am not going to elaborate this topic. Maybe in the upcoming video I will take up this topic. But for now I will just explain that the order condition is just a necessity condition but not the sufficient condition which means that even if an, an equation is satisfying order condition and not rank condition then also it is unidentified. So for an equation to be identified both the conditions must be satisfied. So I would like to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any doubts kindly comment in the comment section below.